everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Love Melissa Michelle and Ulta collaboration. Um, I really, really love the way this look turned out. I was finally able to get this filmed and yeah, it took me forever. I tried filming this, both of my videos about this collection twice. So I guess the third time is a charm and if you want to know a more in-depth review about what I think of each individual product, check out Monday's video. In that video, I just go over everything, I swatch everything, I tell you what I think, how everything performed when I was using it on my face. So for more in-depth review and swatches and everything like that, definitely check out that video. I'll have it pop up up here and linked in the description box down below as well. I am just going to do this as a voiceover video because I felt like when I the first two times when I tried to do it, I was doing it as a talk through and I just wasn't loving how it was turning out as I was editing and everything. So I'm just going to do a voiceover. It is going to be a lot faster. One thing I do want to say is I use this pressed glitter on my eyes right here and I would recommend when using these three over here to definitely use a glitter primer. I didn't and I have it's like the glitter's falling out and it's like because I didn't prime it so the glitter's not sticking down and it's like rubbing the color of my other shadows off right above it as I move my eyes around. So definitely use a primer with these. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'm starting out with the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer and I'm going to set it in place with the um, Rotorman color right here. This is a really nice matte bone color with a peachy undertone. For my transition shade I'm taking Boo Bears. It's a deep brown color with a purple undertone and I'm using a Morphe M504 brush for this. Taking 100% as a second transition shade with I think is a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just putting that right under Boo Bears. Also with a Morphe M433 brush, I'm taking Florida, which is just a deeper version of 100%, and using this to deepen up the crease. Now using Oi on a wet and wild crease brush to deepen up the outer corners of my eyes, I'm taking it slightly through the crease as well. This is my favorite matte color in this palette. I really love this shade of purple. Now I'm going to wet the color Besties with some Smashbox Primer Water and put this all over the lid. This is one of the metallic shades in this palette. I definitely recommend wetting your brushes with the metallic and the shimmer shades in this palette because if you don't, you'll have a huge amount of fallout. I still had fallout with this color even though I did have my brush wet and I really love this color so I was really, I really wanted to use it. Now I'm just taking the sponge tip applicator that comes in the palette and I'm going to apply the glitter shadow in Manifest on top of Besties. I definitely suggest, um using a glitter primer with these glitter shadows so the glitter doesn't fall down on your face and I went out of frame for the whole time I was applying that. Taking a little bit of Hey Guys and putting this on the inner corner for my inner corner highlight. It's perfect for inner corner and brow bone and now I'm just wiping away the fallout and cleaning up the edge of this eye look. I wanted it a little bit more sharp. And just like that, I look really crazy, but I'm taking the Maganda blush for this look today. I really love this. It goes with a lot of different of my looks. Um, also, um, Mahal in this palette is super gorgeous. That will go with a lot of looks as well. And both of these blushes will work very well with a lot of skin tones. So I really like this cheek palette. Now I'm just blending um, the powder away and blending out the bronzer and blush. Going back in with a little bit of Rotorman to clean up the brow bone. And I'm taking 100% with a Morphe M506 brush to smoke out the lower lash line and just to tie the look together a little bit better. Using the NYX Retractable Brown Liner because I felt like black would just be a little too harsh for this look. I wanted something a little bit um, softer. 
Now I'm going to take the glitter liner that comes in the palette in Dang and put this on top of 100% on my lower lash line. And I'm just finishing off my eyes with mascara and the lashes from the collection and putting a thin line of liquid liner to hide the lash band. Now I'm using the highlight from the first collab because the ones in the cheek palette are way too glittery and chalky. But I wonder if I just got one a bad batch because I was watching somebody else's videos and her highlighters in her cheek palette were not like that. So I don't know if something, like I said, maybe I just got a bad batch. But for now I'm just going to use this highlighter. I really love the highlight from the original palette anyway. And I'm using the Dainty Lip Kit from the collection, and I went out of frame the whole time I was applying the lipstick part. So here's me applying the liner, but the lipstick is just um, a lot more, a lighter pink than compared to the liner, and it's really pretty together. It's a really great combo. It's a really nice pinky nude color. Since I went out of frame, here is what the lip combo looks like. So that is actually it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Also, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. Also, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll have all of those linked in the description box down below. Really do love this collection. Um, I hope you guys at least pick something up from it. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say except I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.